Curious George at the Beach by Margaret and H.A. Ray Read by Grandpa Tom It's a very warm day today, George, said the man with the yellow hat. Let's go to the beach. The beach was very crowded on such a hot day. I'm going to change into my trunks, said the man. Look around, but don't get into any trouble, George. George started to explore. Someone had built a castle in the sand. People were splashing and swimming in the water. Nearby, a group of boys and girls were playing volleyball. George wanted to play too, but no one seemed to notice. So he climbed up onto the net, and when the ball came his way, he grabbed it. What fun! George jumped over the heads of the players and landed on the sand. Now he could play with them. Hey, someone shouted, give us back the ball. Then the players chased George. He was scared. He dropped the ball and ran away. Now where could he go? Then he saw a lifeguard tower. While the lifeguard was pulling his boat out of the water, George climbed onto the tower. George could see a lot from up here. George picked up the lifeguard's binoculars and looked through them. Everything seemed so close. He could see a little boy on the pier. Nearby, a woman was sleeping in a beach chair. George looked at the boy again. Now the boy was running. He was running straight towards a hole in the pier. He could fall through. George blew the lifeguard's whistle. Then he jumped down and ran to the pier. George reached the boy just as he was about to fall. George grabbed him. Meanwhile, the lifeguard had heard the whistle and ran over to help them. Then George's friend and the woman who had been sleeping rushed over too. If it wasn't for you, the lifeguard said to George, this little boy would have been in real trouble. The woman gave George a big hug. Thank you, she said. You saved my grandson's life. She turned to George's friend. Won't you both have something to eat with us? So they all had lunch on the beach. A hero deserves a good meal, said the woman. George agreed. The End